Houston Station on Space to Ground. Springtime means launch time. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. It was a busy week for space, starting with another commercial cargo launch. Lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn. Orbital ATK's seventh Cygnus cargo craft lifted off on Tuesday from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The Atlas V rocket boosted it to a near perfect orbit to begin making its way to the International Space Station. The vehicle is packed with more than 7,600 pounds of supplies and hardware, including the stuff for dozens of different science experiments. It's set to arrive on Saturday, April 22nd, where Expedition 51 crew members Thomas Pesquet and Peggy Whitson will be ready to capture it with the station's robotic arm. And the second launch this week sent new crew members to the station. NASA's Jack Fisher and cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin launched atop a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Rocketing across an early afternoon sky, they made the nine-minute climb to space before their Soyuz MS-04 spacecraft detached and started its sprint towards the station. The pair arrived after just four orbits of the Earth, or about six hours, and docked to the station's Poisk module on the Russian segment. After completing leak checks and getting out of their suits, the hatches were opened and they joined the crew of Expedition 51. They even got to say hi to their friends and family back down on the ground, with Jack Fisher giving a masterful description of the ride. It's a burrito of awesomeness smothered in awesome sauce, baby. It's so beautiful. They're slated to stay on board until September, so be sure to follow Jack on his first space mission on Twitter, at Astro2Fish. He's wicked excited and ready to share it with all of you. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.